Hi, my name is Finbar, and um, you asked me a question, where do I think food came from? Well, it comes from Safeway and stores. Today, over 50% of the world's population live in cities. In San Francisco, only less than a third of it is open green space. As our city builds upon itself, we need to find new ways to create more green space, and maybe, I thought, grow some nice food while I was at it. My mission was simple to show the kids in my neighborhood that food comes from the earth by starting my very own sidewalk garden. My urban ag professor, Justin Vallone, had some tips. Um, there's a reuse building supply a place called Building Resources in the Bayview District of San Francisco. Um, you can get cheap wood there. I mean, or you can just use any old container you can find. Building Resources was a massive outdoor lot that contained a plethora of recycled construction supplies. I found myself about 10 good pieces of wood. I also found an old drawer that I decided to convert into a second raised bed. You could have this drawer in this wood for 20 bucks. Deal. Then I was ready to build. My roommate and I began by drilling holes in the board and then screwed it all together. I've never made a raised bed before, but with my simple design and my roommate's construction experience, we got it done. Finding good soil was the next step, and an extremely important one, since healthy soil equals healthy plants. First, we dug up some dirt from Lone Mountain and mixed it with a bunch of worm compost I've been making for months. And lastly, I finished filling the raised beds with a big bag of potting mix I had laying around. I asked Professor Vallone for advice about what to grow. So, I mean, around here, people probably know that this is really considered a year-round growing climate. So you can grow and harvest things in this climate 12 months a year. At this point in the year, which is late November, it's limited in terms of what you can plant um, right now. In terms of things you can plant right now, you can plant fava beans, which you can plant year-round. You can also plant um, lettuce will grow now. You can also plant garlic, onions you can plant now. All those things tend to do pretty well this time of year. I took Justin's advice and planted lettuce and fava beans into one bed. In the other, I took cuttings off perennial plants and transplanted them. As an experiment, I also planted artichoke, tree collards, raspberry, gooseberries, and garlic. Finally, my sidewalk garden was complete and growing real plants. Later, I interviewed some neighbors to hear what they thought about my garden. My name's Gloria. I'm one of Sam's upstairs neighbors. Just the other day, I was on my way home and a mom and her, looked like a three or four year old son, had stopped to look at the garden and uh, she said she was gonna be stopping by each day to see what was growing. Hi, yes, my name is Chris. We have a school about a block and a half up the street for little kids and so uh, a lot of little kids would stop and their parents would stop one morning early, this older uh, Chinese gentleman stopped me and said, oh yeah, that's really good, that's really good that you have that garden. It's a great addition to the whole neighborhood. Um, I think it actually is something that builds community. This was the part I never anticipated. Having my garden on the sidewalk created an intersection point where I met all kinds of different neighbors parents, kids, and elders, they all seem to enjoy watching my sidewalk garden grow. In fact, a few days ago, I woke up to find puke inside one of my raised beds. I had an errand to run and told myself that I'd clean it as soon as I came home. But when I came home, the mess was gone. I later found out that a neighbor named Eric saw the mess and decided to clean it himself. His kind deed showed how much the community cares about my garden. But what about my mission, to teach kids that food comes from the earth? not the store. I'm nine and my name is Margo. Well, some food comes from uh, the ground. A lot of foods come from a lot of places, but most of them come from like where you make it in a garden. Ah, now that's what I wanted to hear. When learning about the food system in class, it's easy to feel like the modern food system is hopeless and dire. But to me, urban agriculture, community gardens, and my sidewalk garden are small salvations that can bring us all happiness and give me hope that someday we can all reestablish our connection to food. For KUSF Radio, I am Sam Wilder.